So the miracle of the internet came out last night. I suggested in yesterday's video that I wanted to make small holes um, quite deep, like 70 centimeters deep, and then um, fill them with manure and plant them. Now, Steve suggested that this is actually the real Zypet, except not as deep as I wanted. He then sent me a video, and we ended up having a look at that video. He said that is the real Zypet. So the Zypets that I've been calling Zypets are actually called demi loons or half moons or as I like to call them, African smiles. Now these things, after being, you've been watching the video, let me just pick up this tripod quickly, see if I can give you a better shot. They are about 20 centimeters across, 20 centimeters deep, and then 90 centimeters apart. We'll then put the, the next one. Lucky, let's go for my middle graph where the next one will come here. We'll put the next one here in the middle between the two there. We will also then put the soil on the side where the water will flow. Now, um, these guys plant maize and mango and things this way. However, um, they'd never make them this deep. The idea is that the water then flows from this direction like this, hits this one, goes in, falls into the manure and the, and the um, seed, fills up that bit, runs over, fills up that bit, runs over, fills up the next bit. Very much the fish scale pattern that we also use with the Demi loons or the African smiles. This is just a much smaller version for specific grasses and wheat and things like that. Uh, sorghum and corn and everything that you wanted to plant that way. Right. Um, the reason why we chose this location is because it is one of our more desolated locations. We don't have loads of local grasses left here um, there is a couple of bushes that we will be interplanting we will leave the traditional or the local bushes in the felt here and the other reason is that uh, we have a water point right over there now the negative is this is our topsoil it's far away from the house, so we yeah, we'll, might have a problem with uh, uh, like fisanta birds scratching our things. And yesterday I found some antelope tracks in this water hole here. <laughs> like a small deer. He came in. I can't go through here to show you now, but we found it last night there. And we have no idea how it got in through our thorn fences. Um, but we'll see if we cannot lift the fence, fences in any case to stop that. So just to give you an idea, this is normally what the traditional planting method will look like. It's shallow. The soil is dug up in any direction um, and then planted. When it rains and it's washed over the first time, the little pit disappears completely. And they look something like this. You can almost not see them. And then just an the interesting fact about Zai. Some of the Dutch um, YouTube friends of mine saw these Zai pits, Zai pits, Zai pits, And they realized that Zai in both my language and in their language means to sow. Zai in my language, but Zai in their language. And then I said to them, now I think it's some local African word, I don't actually know where the word came from. They did the research and it ca uh, came out that it means abundance. So these things are called abundance pits, which I think is quite beautiful. Can you imagine how much better this corn would have looked like if all of them were dug in little pits that held so much water every time it rained? I think it would have been a you know, hell of a difference that would have happened here. Right, uh, then I also wanted to give you a drone overview, so this is drone footage. I um, set, made the setting on cinema, I'm still learning, but the turning is at least a little bit slower. 
you can see the manual is digging we had the skew line so we had to fix it Lucas in, is in charge of drawing the lines he says this is close to the spacing is at least the way they do it the deep holes isn't necessarily what they do okay so yeah you can see it's already forming um, up and down and you can see just to the left there that's the main swell still trying to get my positioning up here right then I open it a little bit and show you just uh, if you look down the screen you can see the swell down there zoom a little bit that is the main road our neighbor on that side so that is then the um, swell that brings in the water from the main road basically starting there that is our highest corner of our land right over there so this is quite far away from from the house this is now the main swell um just below the highest point of our so it's not the longest point on the land but i wanted to be able to push water back and not have it run over the road um yeah you can see again this is where we are there's a little pond in front and then I'm quickly going to run down the swell and show you what we do there. Now it, it goes very slowly, um, but I think it gives a bit of a smoother effect. The scrap yard I'm always ashamed of, but it is something very necessary when you want to try and reuse things. Um, it can look a lot neater. Those two planks were placed there with the, by the kids. They were building bridges and things like that. Um, here you can see the greenery on the swell coming up and then on the left of the screen you can see those are the areas where we planted there in the middle of the screen that's maize and then on the right that is um our vegetable garden between the maize we'll be planting now three sister effect maybe plant some squash and beans between them and you can see right here there is a lot of planting of the wet corn or the soaked corn planted there I wish we did that in deeper pits, but so you learn. We'll maybe we'll change that if those ones doesn't come up. We'll probably change that um, into a deeper pit system as well, and uh, then we just return back. Yeah, you can see in the wash right in front coming up now. There where those four poles are. There's still a little bit water in that wash, and so yeah, the swell went across across the wash and that kept a lot of water in the swell and just while you hit that subscribe button i'm going to show you we ended up doing three extra zypots yesterday the guys missed the idea that the water needs to overflow into the next one so they um connect the walls that's still something that i have to change this one they loosened the swell but they never completed it yesterday was quite a hectic day trying to run the office and run the plot at the same time, but little steps at a time, baby steps at a time. Um, we can add one, if we add just a little bit of water harvesting structures every day, will change the whole world quite quickly or the whole farm quite quickly. And that in turn will maybe motivate other people to do the same. All right, so I'm going to show you tomorrow how many pits we dug today. Um, thank you very much for leaving a comment. Thank you very much for viewing. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.